All right, I think it's confession time a little bit here. I may have led you on a little bit. The industry may have led you on a little bit. The only time for landscape photography going to be the morning or the evening for your golden hour and blue hour? Maybe, maybe not. I'm out here midday. I wanna show you that the best times to get out for landscape photography are not the only times you need to get out for landscape photography. Getting up oh dark early in the morning sucks. It's terrible and for a non-pointing person like myself, it also could be somewhat difficult. And if you're not a night owl, staying up until all hours of the evening, uh, waiting for the blue hour after sunset can also be difficult. So we're gonna come out here. It's midday, or actually just after midday, it's after lunch. Uh, the sun is beating down, not all the leaves are on the trees yet. We got a lot of harsh light going on. Let's take a look at some of the photos that we could get midday to help your landscape photography. Like lots of people, I have a full-time job that I sometimes have to work around in order to work on my photography. So using the midday or other non-optimal time to our advantage gives us the chance to really hone in on our skills. Using one of my favorite local cascades as the example, I'll show you some of what you can capture in these conditions and we'll give you some tips on why you can use these conditions to your advantage. In the first photo, I took advantage of the top-down light and with a polarizer, I was able to see inside this particular cascade and see the rock and texture in the water. It also made for a nice chance to see what helps shape the water as it flows, but also see the smoothness of that flow in that spot before it crashes and churns below. In the next photo, I took advantage of using a wider aperture and a neutral density filter to capture the motion of the cascade and getting a nice milky flow of the water. But with the sunlight at the angle that it is, it glistened off of the droplets coming off of the shortfalls, creating some texture in the milky waterfall without having to composite two different images. In this last photo, I used the same setup and zoomed into a portion of the cascade to get the water running over the moss-covered rocks in these small cascading falls. This allowed me to capture the detail and color in that area while being able to capture the motion of the water without sacrificing any of that detail and color. What we get out of doing this is being able to use these conditions to our advantage in order to obtain sharp and detailed images with greater clarity. You can also use high contrast between light and dark areas during midday to create a dramatic effect in your photos. The bright sunlight can also help you achieve greater depth of field with a narrower aperture, allowing you to capture more depth in your images. And for my wildlife photographer friends, the bright light can help you capture fast moving subjects with greater clarity and detail when the sun is bright in the sky. But at the end of the day, if you can master these less than optimal conditions, you can capture the light no matter the situation with great confidence. Thank you for coming along with me on this video today. Uh, I really do appreciate the support. Um, if you could give me a like on the video, that would also be greatly appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about today's video or if you have any other tips that you would like to share. Uh, about taking photos in suboptimal light. Um, also, if you take a look at the description, uh, there'll be some links to my socials in there. Uh, feel free to follow me there if you like and uh, tag me in any photos that you've taken uh, from tips that you've picked up from any of my videos. I'll be sure to share those out as well. And uh, as always, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for the support. Uh, make sure to get out there, take some great photos, and I'll see you again next week. Take care.